George, the curious little monkey. Here he comes, as happy as can be. Curious George, the curious little monkey. Why is he curious? Let's go and see. Curious George and the dinosaur. George, said the man with the yellow hat, Jimmy's class is going to the museum today. Maybe he can take you along. I'll be here when you come home. I wish I didn't have to go to the museum today, said Jimmy. It's always so boring. Look who's here, said a girl. Why, it's George, said Mr. Chauncey, the science teacher. You may join us, but don't get into trouble. George and the class got into the bus and drove to the museum. In the first room was a display of ancient rocks. These rocks are from the Ice Age, millions of years ago when everything was covered with ice and snow. Aren't they interesting? said Mr. Chauncey. I don't think so, said a boy. Neither do I, whispered a girl. When is lunchtime? asked another student. George wandered off. In the next room, he saw something very strange. It was the huge skeleton of a dinosaur. While a museum guard was busy talking, George jumped over the rope and climbed up the long tail of the dinosaur. Then he climbed down. Then up. Then down. Then up again until he reached the dinosaur's neck. Just then, the teacher came in with the class. Look up there, Jimmy shouted. Ride him, George, cried a girl. The guards heard the noise. Get down from there, ordered one of them. I'm going to get the director. George was scared. One of the girls went over to the teacher. Is that how they rode dinosaurs in the old days, she asked. Well, no, answered the teacher. There were no people around yet. Tell us more about that, someone said. George was curious. What was a dinosaur? Well, said Mr. Chauncey, the earth was full of huge creatures like this. All the children gathered around and listened with their mouths open. Suddenly, the director of the museum came over to the class. What's this about a monkey on our dinosaur? He asked. Guards, get him before he causes any damage. Poor George. There he was on top of a dinosaur, and no place to hide. Just a moment, said the teacher. George was a great help to me. He made the children interested in the dinosaurs. We wouldn't have listened, said a boy. It's so interesting, said another one. I want to come back again, said a girl. Well, said the director, I can see that our dinosaur isn't damaged. We'll forgive George this time. Come on down, little monkey. Three cheers for George, they shouted. Well, said the teacher, I have to thank you for making this visit a happy one. But next time we go to the museum, promise not to ride the dinosaur. When the bus stopped in front of George's house, the man with the yellow hat was waiting. Glad to see you, George, he said. I hope you kept out of trouble today. <laughs>